They're still trying to recover after that destructive warehouse fire at Pier 45. Good evening. I'm Veronica Dela Cruz. I'm Alan Martin. That fire burned the gear for half of the city's crab fleet. As KPI X5's John Ramos reports, those crews are now scrambling. The Port Commission estimates that 7,000 of these crab traps were lost in the fire. And for the fishermen, they won't be easy to replace. They're not exactly something you can buy at Walmart or Home Depot. Crab boat owner John Barnett has a lot of painting to do. 500 buoys have to be marked with identifying colors as he works at his Sonoma County home to create 250 new crab pots for the upcoming season. He lost 650 of them in the fire that destroyed all the gear for his two crab boats. I got down there and pretty much knew at that point that it was a, a bad deal. The port will begin demolishing what's left of Pier 45 this week, but its losses were covered by insurance. The fishermen's gear was not, so those that want to stay in the game are rushing to buy new traps, and they all have to be custom made to fit individual boats. Barnett's 250 new crab pots cost about $40,000. Each trap is about $240, fully equipped, and manufacturers require up to half that amount up front. Many fishermen can't afford that, so the port is creating a no interest loan program to pay $100 toward each new pot with five years to pay it back. How beneficial will that be to you guys? Extremely. I mean, this is going to either make or break probably half the people at least that lost everything in that shed. Barnett says the losses won't affect the availability of crab. There will always be other boats waiting to make the catch. But the season begins in November and many are out right now catching salmon. So there will be little time to do all the work required to set up brand new crab traps. They can start looking for used gear. A lot of them don't even have the finances to purchase used gear. So uh, some of these guys are out of business right now. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what they're going to do. Barnett figures he will still lose money, dropping from 650 to only 250 pots. But he needs to do something to keep busy, especially since COVID-19 wiped out his sightseeing business as well. So as if 2020 wasn't bad enough. Yeah, yeah. Add it to the list. In Sonoma County, John Ramos, KPIX5.